we got 34 orders going out for a total of $672. So let's get to pulling these orders, guys. What's going on, everybody? My name's Marcus. Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be a what sold video here at the storage unit. Getting ready to pull my orders. I got to add these new boxes to the inventory uh, right now. I got to get the shelf, guys. Um, really uh, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with all this stuff because no longer picking up shoes. I'm kind of selling through the hats. I'm probably just gonna consolidate them back into one bin. I was separating them by, like these are just random hats, like camouflage hats, a couple of like golf hats and stuff. Same thing with that. Those are football hats, those are baseball hats. Those are more random hats. I'm thinking about just co combining them all back into the same tote and uh, saving my space and just adding more of these shelves in there. Now the homie Bo Johnson has some shelves that he uses but they're like half the size of these shelves, I think. Maybe a third of the size. And they're like a third of the price or like 150 bucks or something like that. I don't know if I'm gonna get those. I might have to grab a couple of them for this unit though, cause I don't, I don't have the space to be optimizing in here like that. But anyway, let's get to pulling these orders, man. I'm tired of rambling. First item going out are these 5'11 tactical pants. These are women's pants. 511 is a pretty good brand to be on the lookout for. I had these for just like a month or two, but I did take a best offer of $15 for these. Sold these Prana pants. These are men's like hiking outdoor pants. Prana is a good brand, especially in the men's um, category because it sells for a little bit higher for price than the women's stuff does. But be on the lookout for these. These sold for, I had them listed for 40. The buyer sent me a best offer of 30 and they sold in like three days. Sold a Grand Canyon hoodie. I sold this for a best offer of $12.75. So uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed or not yet, but there are now perks, channel memberships uh, available. I want to send a huge shout out to Travis George, the first member of the Dixon's Pickens uh, channel memberships. Thank you for your uh, support, my, my dude. I really, really appreciate it. Um, there are several different levels. The highest level offers um, live streams, private live streams, private discord, uh, direct access to me. Um, private videos that no one else sees. And then um, there's also going to be um, store reviews and then there will also be opportunities for one-on-one -on -one direct coaching um but that that comes later on but check the uh check the link out in in the description for the channel perks or either look at tap the join button just to see what all perks are offered for the different levels maybe you guys will find an option that will help you grow your business and help shorten the learning curve which in the at the end of the day that's what this channel is about it's about sharing as much knowledge as i possibly can but also helping you guys further your career as far as you can. Uh, I can't get you to a million bucks yet because I haven't made that much, but I can definitely show you how to make six figures a year. Got this Antique Motorcycle Club shirt. This sold for $7. Uh, not, not the greatest of pickups, honestly, but $7 is okay. It's still enough for me to make a couple dollars off of it. And Taylor Loft skirt. This is not a bolo by any means guys and taylor is one of those brands that it's just basic bread and butter this sold for 15 bucks uh not everything and taylor is going to sell um for high dollar or so quickly so just you know keep that in mind if you're picking up the brand one of the things there's no shortage of in a rural country is camouflage items this is a real tree t-shirt this sold for 15 dollars. i find this stuff everywhere like literally there's Camouflage, camouflage, camouflage. It's freaking everywhere, guys. Like, there's no shortage of this stuff when you live in freaking Missouri and everybody's a hunter around here. So, $15, not a bad sell. Um, some camouflage stuff does not sell as well, so it's not all created equally. But uh, pick it up if you see it and uh, just test the market with it if you feel like it. This is a U.S. Air Force windbreaker. There's the logo right there. Uh, I found like four of these at the bins uh, on the same day. 
And I pick them up every time I find them because they always sell. And this one sold for 15 bucks. Uh, I list them for $25 every single time that I find them. Usually they'll sell for the 25 with the 25% off coupon, which is around 1875. Uh, this one, it was $3 of what I normally would sell it for. So I took the offer when they sent it. This is a woodsy owl. It's like a, I would assume it's supposed to be like a knockoff of like Smokey the Bear. It's got his little camper like uniform type thing on and talking about pick up trash at your campsite. This sold for $10 and I'm surprised it sold as fast as it did. Uh, only took like a couple of weeks to sell. Got a Jimmy Buffett live shirt. This sold for 20 bucks. Jimmy Buffett stuff is hit or miss. Um, a lot of these shirts don't sell for $20 like this one. Uh, you can find them in abundance, at least I can. I find a lot of like bar traveling, like uh, Florida shirts and like restaurants and stuff that are in vacation towns. Uh, listed this like two weeks ago and sold for $20, so pretty good flip. Got this Chicago Cubs shirt. Uh, it's not vintage, it's 2005, so kind of close on the, on the verge. Uh, Stitches brand. Sold for eleven twenty-five. Sold this Johnny O brand. Um, it's a quarter zip pullover. Just a, it's not a sweater or a sweatshirt. It's like a t-shirt, uh, jersey material. This sold for eighteen bucks. I had it listed a little bit higher, but when the buyer sent me the offer, I just went ahead and accepted it. Got a Talbot's. Got a Talbot's button-up, like chambray type shirt. It's not quite denim, not quite not denim. Uh, I don't know how you even explain chambray, but Talbot's Plus sold for eleven twenty-five. Got a Polo Ralph Lauren button-up shirt. This is a men's big size, so it's like a three XB. This sold for twenty-five bucks. Got another Talbot shirt. This sold for fifteen dollars. These are the old Davy pants that I picked up in uh, the last Ben's video uh, on Monday. So today's Saturday. So it's sold in what? What's that? Five days. So pretty good, pretty good turnover uh, in, in as far as in time that it sold them. How, how much did it sell for? Eleven twenty-five. Got these big star jeans. These were actually returned to me. They got bought last week and then, well, maybe two weeks ago, then they got returned last week. So uh, the buyer returned them because they didn't fit. They said that they were too small on them, which uh, bothers me because they sold again. And I don't want them to be too small on the next person either. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes people just don't check measurements. Uh, we'll see. They'll sell for eighteen seventy-five, I believe. Uh, and they sold, I think two day, two days after relisting them. Yeah, eighteen seventy five. These are St. Louis Cardinal shorts. Had these listed for pretty close to a year, uh, so they're on sale for fifty percent off. And the buyer used a twenty five percent off coupon on top of that as well, so they only sold for six dollars. So if you're new to the channel, and a lot of you are, um, what I do to move in old inventory is I put my store on a markdown sale based off the age of the listing. So for instance, this whole shelf right here predominantly are items that are closer to a year, if not a little bit over a year. So this box is the first box of inventory that I started listing when I switched over from having my items in bins stacked on top of each other. So all these items right here have been listed for closer to a year. Uh, and then as we move over, everything gets newer. All the way over to these items are a week old. So newest inventory, oldest inventory right here. And I put this on sale by 50%. Then my range goes from 200 days on site to 299 days on site. And I put those items on sale for 40% off. Uh, and then I go from 100 to 199 and I put those on sale for 30% off and then anything between 90 days and 100 or 90 days and 99 days I put on sale for 20% off.
So that just helps me move stale inventory, helps me make room in my storage units faster. It helps me recoup the money that I spent on items so that way I can go get more items. These amethyst jeans were on sale for 50% off and they did not sell with a 25% off coupon. But they sold for $6.75, I think, is what it says. Yep, $6.67 to be correct. Uh, Amethyst is not a brand that I would continue to pick up. This was a brand that I first started picking up when, when I started selling clothing and just testing the waters. Uh, based off brand knowledge now that I have that I didn't have when I first started selling clothing, it just doesn't make sense to keep picking that brand up because it's a really slow seller with a very low sales price. Up next is another brand I definitely would not recommend anyone picking up, which is A New Approach ANA. These sold for $7.50. Now, I got these in my very first bulk buy ever, right? Uh, I bought, I want to say I got about a little over a thousand pieces. I can't remember the, the details off the top of my head, but if you guys go back to my old videos, uh, it's in there. And um, there was a bunch of... Um, it started out buying the Miss Me that the lady had, Miss Me's, Rock Revival, uh, Day Trip, and a couple other decent brands um, in there. And I went and I bought that and I saw that she had all these thousands of pieces and I was just like, I'll buy it all. And then so, since I had just really started doing um, clothing at the time, I, I listed everything, things that I didn't even you know know anything about. This was one of those items and it took over a year to sell and it only sold for seven bucks and some change or whatever i just said yeah seven and it sold for 750. it's still better than some 47.65 is the next item shelby kobe shirt 47.65 let's find that 40. all right i'm gonna have to put the camera down this shirt shelby kobe shirt sold for uh shelby cobra shirt sold for six dollars old navy jean shorts sold for five bucks kevin harvard shirt sold for eight forty four express portofino shirt with the little anchors on it sold for a best offer of nine bucks uh I know there, there's a lot of low sales prices in here, guys, but at the end of the day, if somebody's offering me something uh, on an item that I've had sitting for a while, I'm probably going to take it. As long as it's a reasonable offer, I had that shirt listed for 15 bucks, so $6 off, it's a decent amount of money off, but at the end of the day, I'm still three times in my money off that, so it doesn't even matter to me, really. Uh, the goal is to make money, not to hold on to items. Polo Ralph Lauren shirt sold for $10.50. Polo is one of those brands, man, that's literally all over the place. Items will sell for upwards of $100, bucks, or they could sell for $5. Bucks. Uh, just got to find the right stuff. Nike uh, gym shorts. Boys, Nike gym shorts sold for $6. Bucks. Style & Co. shorts. New with tags. These sold for a best offer of 10 bucks. This is like QVC brand stuff. Uh, definitely not something I'm hanging on to. Got a J. Crew button up with the little leather elbow patches. This sold for 12 bucks. This is a brand that I don't often pick up. It's American Rag. Uh, this sweater sold for 12 80 Maurice's Jeggings sold for $7.50. Jeggings are definitely something I'm staying away from moving forward. Uh, it's just not really in style anymore. It takes forever to move, and then as you see, it doesn't sell for very much either. So some Victoria's Secret leggings. Someone offered me 15 bucks for these. Uh, decent for Victoria's Secret. It's not like a bolo. It's not going to make you rich, but it's decent bread and butter. American Eagle khaki shorts. I had these listed for 25, sold on a best uh, or 25% off coupon for 20 bucks. And these are something that I find 
by the handfuls uh american eagle shorts american eagle almost anything is so abundant at my uh bin store so i pick pretty much anything up from from the brand as long as it's in good condition uh sometimes i pick up stuff that's not in good condition and it still sells but i'm not like saying go flood your store with american eagle it's just one of my basic bread bread and butter brands that i pick up a lot of lucky brand jeans sell for 15 bucks this is another brand that i find a lot of and I pick up almost anything by them. The skinny jeans don't sell for as much. Uh, the flare leg jeans are selling pretty good right now, and they're selling pretty quick for me. Um, I just think that looks in right now with the Y2K uh, flare leg. Um, skinny jeans, like I said, they still will sell, but it takes a tad bit longer, and it doesn't go for as much. Another thing that I'm kind of trying to lean away from buying uh, is capris. These are Miss Me capris. They sold for $24. It's still an okay sales price, but a lot of people aren't really into capris anymore these days, unless it's like an older woman. Uh, no offense to any older women watching this, but it seems to be the only demographic really wearing them. Um, but still an okay sales price. Uh, but I think it's due to the fact of the brand. Uh, Miss Me is a good brand. If it was like Old Navy, they probably would have never sold. Got an Orange Beach, um, Alabama shirt, sold for $15. These tourist type shirts are something I pick almost all of them up, um, just due to the fact that people buy them based off memories from a vacation or times with their family or just based off the way the pattern looks. Uh, it sells okay for me. I'm not telling you guys to also go out and flood your store with this stuff. I'm just letting you guys know what I pick up. Uh, like the Jimmy Buffett shirt, like the Margaritaville shirts, Lulu Buffett's shirts. Uh, what else? Just pretty much shirts with cool graphics on it from travel destinations I pick up. And uh, this is just one of the shirts that happened to sell today. These rag and bone cut off denim shorts have sold since I've been here. The buyer sent me a $10 offer first. Uh, I have them listed for 25 bucks. So I countered with what my 25% off store coupon would be, which is 18.75. They countered back with 18 bucks. And uh, I accepted that because that's 75% or 75 cents lower than what my store coupon is. So since it was only 75 cents less than what my store coupon is, I figured why not go ahead and accept it. People just, I think they just try to test you out sometimes. Um, however, I did get an offer for, I got an item listed for 15 bucks. Someone offered me $8 for it. I counted with like $10 or something like that and they declined it. So sometimes you get low ball offers because that's the bare minimum someone wants to pay and it is called best offer it's not called uh maybe that's not their best offer so i'll counter with something higher uh so sometimes you win some sometimes you lose some i call this a win because it's only 75 cents less than what i had had would have i call this a win because this is only 75 cents less than what my bare minimum was so um still pretty good so rag and bone is okay anyway um some people say it's not i think it's decent the last item to sell is this levi's um i think it might be yeah levi's signature this isn't even like levi's it's like the target spinoff or what is it walmart that sells this either way it goes this sold for 37.50 um and it went through the international shipping program so for me i was enrolled in the global shipping uh which is great this new ebay international delivery um i think i think since i've been switched over to it i think i've only been in for like a week or so uh i've seen more uh sales from this program than the global shipping program are you guys enrolled in the ebay international program and what are your opinions on if you were in the global shipping program beforehand to what the ebay international program does are you finding that you're getting more sales because they're reaching more um countries or do you feel like you got more sales in the global shipping program i'm okay with it either way it goes as long as i'm selling more items that's really all that matters to me at the end of the day so those are all the items i got going out really hope you guys are doing well 
Sales are kind of meh for me right now. I ain't gonna cry about it. I'm gonna just keep listing more items. About to hit, I think I'm getting real close to 6,000 active listings right now. So, um, you know, the goal is not to have 1 million items listed. The goal is to be selling as many items as I possibly can. I'm averaging close to 30 sales a day. Some days uh, I'm down to like 25 sales a day. But um, the more that I can consistently hit that 30 sales a day number, the better it is for me. Um, you know, it is what it is, man. Join the Good Pickings Discord. It is free if you guys want to join. Uh, become a channel member if you guys want to support the channel. Uh, there's so many perks involved. Um, that's going to do it for this video. Catch you guys on the next one. But until then, let's make this cash, guys. Peace.